Hi everybody, today I'm going to be just talking about some tips on taking presentation videos. And just to go over a base, just to give you guys a basic overview of what the contents of this video will be, I'm going to be talking about what should be in your presentation video, how to make sure that you have good lighting, sound, camera placement, and editing your videos. So to start off with what should be in your video, the first thing that should be present at the start of every single presentation video your team takes are the place cards that have been provided to you. Now you have two options. You can either print them out and can be held in front of the screen at the start of the presentation video, or you can take a screenshot of the card or a picture of the card that can be edited into the video after it is recorded. And in every single video, it is important that your entire team should be present. This is a great way of promoting core values because it shows proper inclusion and that everyone in your team is excited to be a part of FLL. And finally, what you should have in all of your videos are the necessary components you need. For example, if you're doing a project video, make sure that you have all your props, posters, etc. And if you're doing a robot design video or a robot game video, make sure you have your attachments, your robot, and the game mat or table that you are displaying your robot on. And just a side note, it might be helpful for your teams to keep a checklist just to make sure you guys don't forget everything. From personal experience, working with other teams, it's been very helpful and very beneficial to keep a checklist, just to make sure that you have everything that you need for your presentation to be successful. Um, moving on to making sure that you have good lighting, you wanna make sure that you have plenty of light, whether it be natural light, lamps, ring lights, flashlights, etc. And you wanna make sure that you turn off any ceiling lights that you may have on just to minimize the glare and so you can actually see the students' faces. And, the props and posters that are in the presentation. And to go along with that, you wanna make sure that you have minimal shadows. So again, you can just see everybody's faces. Moving on to sound, um, you wanna make sure that you avoid any background noises. So record in quiet places with minimal distraction and make sure that your recording device has proper volume so it can pick up on what the kids are actually saying in their presentation. And to go along with that, the students should be speaking loud enough for the video to pick up their voices but not so loud that they are shouting. To go along with sound, an option that your team can do is, what is you can include a voiceover into your presentation. So while the video is playing, students can be talking. And the microphone, having a microphone to do the voiceover is not necessary, but it is recommended if you have one. But if you don't have one, talking through a computer or even through your phone will work just fine. And when students are doing the voiceover, make sure that the kids are talking loud enough so their voices can be heard as the video is playing. And make sure team members keep a script with them if needed, just so they don't forget anything that they want to say if something's really important. And also make sure that they speak clearly and they talk at a very steady pace so that people who are watching the video in the future can understand what they're saying and pick up on the content. And also students should make sure Move it, move the tripod during the presentation and at the end of the presentation if needed. And also it is important to make sure nothing is covering the camera while you're recording. Moving on to whether you, if you're using a cell phone, make sure that whoever's, whoever's recording the presentation, make sure that they keep a steady hand as they're recording just so it doesn't shift around during the presentation. And also again, move the cell phone during the presentation or at the end as needed and zoom in and out while recording if your team needs to. And one important thing to note is that you should never stop recording. Your presentation should be from start to finish, one whole video clip, not separate. Finally, we're gonna talk about editing your videos. There are lots of different apps that you can use to edit your videos, and some of them include iMovie, VideoStar, WeVideo, but there are so many other softwares. If you're comfortable with a different one, go ahead and use that. I'm sure it'll work just fine. And if your team does decide to add any background music, make sure that it is loud enough to hear, but not so loud that you cannot hear what the kids are saying in the presentation. And to go along with that, you just wanna make sure that you avoid any quote, quote, popular music that could be copyrighted. Videos, video apps, editing apps like iMovie, et cetera, they, a lot of them give you different background music, background music that you can use in your presentation. So just try to use that. It's, It'll work fine. 
Um, I, that's it for the presentation. If anybody has any questions, thank you for listening. <laughs>